Hi guys, it's me Quinn, and as always, if you appreciate my content, consider hitting the like button. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm really notices me. So since I've talked about robots in the Dune series, and the political structure of the Dune series, it's now time to talk about the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. Now, the Bene Gesserit appear several times in the movie, and their motivations are explained somewhat, but not in any depth. If you haven't read the book series, I imagine you were kind of confused about what was going on with them. So in this video, I'll explain it. After the fall of the machines, which was 10,000 years prior to the beginning of this movie, the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood began to rise to prominence. Because humans could no longer depend on technology as a crutch, the Sisterhood emphasized honing human potential. And they did this through selective breeding and training. Bene Gesserit skills are so advanced that much of what they do can appear as magic to people who are outside of their order. The Bene Gesserit order is interested in the continued indefinite survival of humankind. And they believe that by looking to the past, humankind can avoid mistakes in their future. High-ranking members of the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood are known as Reverend Mothers. These sisters have awakened their other memory in a process that involves taking a deadly poison known as the Truth Sayer drug and converting it to something non-lethal. The agony of the process allows the sister to unlock the hidden genetic memories of her ancestors, a giant pool of wisdom to which she could draw from. The only thing is, Reverend Mothers can only draw from the maternal side. And this is where the Sisterhood's breeding program comes in. The Sisterhood has been carefully crossing bloodlines for many, many generations using the great houses of the Landsrad, House Atreides, House Harkonnen, as essentially one big giant experiment. All in an attempt to produce the Kwisatz Haderach, the one who can be in many places at once. Not only would the Kwisatz Haderach be able to look at both the paternal and the maternal half of the memories, they would also be able to look to the future and see all of the possible futures. Now the Bene Gesserit have had several failed male candidates for Kwisatz Haderach, but they have all died during the spice change, but they believe they are very close with the Atreides bloodline. Now Jessica, Paul's mother, is a Bene Gesserit down to the core, fully bound by Bene Gesserit conditioning. She was told by the Sisterhood to only have daughters, which is something that the Bene Gesserit can control because they can meticulously control their own body chemistry. But she fell in love with the Duke Atreides and she knew that he wanted a son, and there was also something inside of her that told her that she could produce the Kwisatz Haderach. So she gave birth to a son and trained him in the Bene Gesserit ways against the Sisterhood's wishes. The Bene Gesserit had hoped to marry an Atreides daughter to a Harkonnen son, and the child born of that union would have been the Kwisatz Haderach, who they would have kept under heavy conditioning and hoped to control. But because of Jessica's betrayal, their plans that they've had for millennia have been thrown off. A potential Kwisatz Haderach born too soon, not kept under strict Bene Gesserit conditioning. The Bene Gesserit had hoped to use the Kwisatz Haderach to steer the path of the human empire. Because he could see both sides of his ancestral memories clearly and also look to the future, the Bene Gesserit believed that he could best point the way. The Bene Gesserit have also spent countless generations on different planets sowing myths and legends about the coming of the Kwisatz Haderach, a messiah. One of the places where they placed such myths were among the Fremen in Arrakis, this is why in the movie, the Fremen refer to Paul as the Lee son al Gaib, the voice from the outer world. In the legends, the son of a Bene Gesserit would lead the Fremen to freedom, but they only believed these legends because the Bene Gesserit placed these myths in their culture centuries ago. So to sum things up, what do the Bene Gesserit want? Essentially, control. The Bene Gesserit believe that they have the best plan for the future of humanity and they will manipulate, maneuver, and adapt constantly to achieve their goals. They may have lost control of the Atreides bloodline for now, but they are pragmatic enough and wise enough to wait. Thanks so much for watching guys, make sure you like and subscribe for more Quinn's ideas.